Okay, so this is part of what you need to get ready to prime your doll. You don't actually, if you're doing it outside, you can probably get away without a ventilation mask. But if you're going to do it inside in a studio or anywhere, you really need a ventilation mask because all primers like this are toxic. It's spray paint, it's toxic, it smells bad, it's going to give you a headache and kill brain cells. Although breathing kills brain cells, but you don't want to kill any more than you absolutely have to. So my best Darth Vader. Let's go. The trick with the primer is to make sure you're doing light coats. Preferably, you can still see it, but light coats. And you want to make sure when you're working, it's not too cold or too damp out because it takes forever for the primer to, to dry. So that's, so that's basically what you're doing. You're just trying to get all the angles, get the coat on it, do it outside. Uh, you don't want to put it too thick or you're going to end up with drips which are a pain, although you can sand this stuff. Um, wet dry sandable primer. It is uh, for all kinds of things. Uh, specifically, you want to look for something that will prime plastic and you want to do thin coats. So it takes a while. And I guess that's all I can tell you about the primer. Thanks. Okay, so through the magic of television, I have now got a completed primed doll. You're going to notice that there are some issues, like this, there's a drip here, a couple of marks where she's attached to the paper. So you're going to need to take some really fine sandpaper. Um, anybody who works with Blythe's will know about the sanding sponges which you can get at a super high grit so it's very 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 fine and that would be the perfect thing to just try and sand down some of these spots with. So there we go I'm just gonna sand her down I'll get the paper and do a little bit of work on that and be right back. Okay so now that I have her all sanded down and you know pretty smooth um, I might worry about it more at another time to have it perfect, but, you know, she's good enough for now, for my purposes today anyway. Um, so my next thing is to design out the face, and you're going to do that the same way you would design out anything. You're just going to sketch in your sections, and I always do big eyes, so she's going to have big eyes. We know that, don't we? And just, I'm just very loosely marking out where I would put things, how I would want it. You could do more. And, um, you know, if there's anything in particular you want, uh, like what? What in particular would you want, Noelle? I don't know. What would you want? Uh, maybe if you wanted to mark out where you were going to do clothing. If you were going to do clothing, you might want to do that. You might want to mark out anywhere you're going to have some kind of strange sign. Just the usual things that you do. So once you get her, um, you know, blocked out, then you can move on to the next part, which is painting. And that's going to be a much longer process. And again, fairly uh, self-explanatory. So I will show you some as I go along, but you're going to you're going to understand that. If you're doing this, you have at least some concept of, of doing something in art. Okay. We shall return.